In this example, we have the function f of x given to be negative for x squared minus x plus 1. But we're going to find the limit of the function f at negative 2 plus h minus the function f at negative 2 all divided by h as limit h approaches 0. First, we're going to find out what is the expression or the value for the function at negative 2 and the function at negative 2 plus h, and then bring all the terms over to the limit problem. At negative 2, the function f of x equals negative 4 times negative 2 squared minus negative 2 plus 1, or negative 4 times 4 or negative 16 plus 2 plus 1. That turns out to be negative 13. And then for the second part here, the function at negative 2 plus h, we replace the x with the quantity negative 2 plus h of square minus the quantity negative 2 plus h and then plus 1. The negative 2 plus h square is the perfect square. Another way we said the same quantity multiplied by itself. And then the second part, we distribute the negative to both terms to be plus 2 minus h and then plus 1. Next, expand the product of negative 2 plus h and itself. Negative 2 times negative 2, very positive 4. Negative 2 times h, and then after negative 2 times h plus h squared. 2 and 1 simplify to be 3, and then minus h. Keep going with the simplifying process here. Actually, the negative 2h and negative 2h can be simplified to be negative 4h. Now, negative 4 times 4, negative 16. Negative 4 times negative 4h is positive 16h minus 4 h squared plus 3 minus h. And then we collect the like terms, negative 16 and plus 3 is negative 13. Negative h and 16h becomes 15h minus 4h squared. So we get the expression for the function at negative 2 plus h. Next, we're going to go back to the main part of the problem. So limit h approaches 0, the function at negative 2 plus h will be substituted by negative 13 plus 15h minus 4h squared, and then subtracted by the value of the function at negative 2, which is negative 13, and all divided by h. Then we're going to simplify the numerator as much as we can. After we take the grouping symbol, negative 13 plus 15h minus 4h squared plus 13, all divided by h. We can see negative 13 plus 13 can be canceled. Then the problem will give you the simplified form of the numerator as 15h squared minus 4 times h squared divided by h. We can do a little bit more of the numerator by factoring. Actually, this is 50-ish, sorry. So we can factor the ish out, and then we get 15 minus 4-ish inside the parentheses, divided by ish for the denominator. Ish and ish reduce. Now we get the problem simplified to be the limit as h approaches 0 of the expression 15 minus 4h. We target on the h value. And as the expression we have down here, this is a polynomial function in terms of h. To compute the limit is the same as the way that you compute the function to find the function value. So we're going to replace the h with the value 0. 
Then we get 15 minus 0, or just 15, as a result for this problem.